have a son. I am engaged to be married. On how to live your life, how to live your life. Don't you know that life is full of surprises? You better realize, better realize. So what I'm going to be sharing with you are important conversations people had on their own while they were paired up to get to know each other. Diary sessions which I thought were worthy of notes and then the get to know me question and answer session. In Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is not your first time here. Thank you so much for coming back. If this is your first time, welcome to my family. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell right beside it. Day 2 on Big Brother Niger House was just about everybody getting to know each other. Big Brother started the day with reading them a task, obviously the HOH, telling them that they should pair up and exchange information about each other, basically just get to know each other. And then after that, we had the first ever diary session. We had a get to know me kind of tag like where people came out one by one and told the whole house about themselves and got asked some questions towards the end i thought this was a very pleasant task because i remember last year as a day one day two i was literally trying to listen into different people's conversations trying to get to know people and then in that way one person would just tell like two people about them the other people will not know about that person you get so with this kind of task it's re minimize gossip like you'll be hearing a lot of things about someone for the first time not from the person if you get what I mean. So while the housemates were getting to know each other, we on the other hand were getting to know the housemates more. So while they were all paired up, um, you guys, I heard Priest tell V about his engagement. So he is not lying about anything. He, you guys saw him with baby. He, I don't think he even said he was single. Like some people claimed he said on Twitter that he said he was single. How can someone say he was single? You guys, he is not single and he said he was going to marry but for COVID he would have been married now happily talks about his child happily talks about his fiance so praise should be in everybody's good book because he's not lying about his relationship status at some point lucy and also were in a conversation and then you guys lucy was crying i don't know if she was pretending or i think she just feels overwhelmed being in the house she's just saying things like she doesn't have a talent that the other day when she was auditioning they asked her what her talent was and then she couldn't even say anything and also was like well I don't know what she talks about, maybe people judging her and stuff and also it's like you can't be thinking about what people think about you. She's like, yeah, that she tries but sometimes it's difficult. He was just really, really trying to console her that you might, might not have something that's your talent but just think in your mind, what are the things I'm good at and just harness those things. You're in Big Brother house now, you get, it can only get better from here. He really, really tried to console her she just kept crying up and down the whole place. Yeah, so he was crazy when I got into the house because... He really did his best to console her. Tolani and Lilo were in a conversation getting to know each other and they kind of bonded on like travel and YouTubing and stuff like that So they were making plans that, ah, that when we leave the house, we're going to go here, we're going to here in the US Tolani was like, it's long overdue, she had been planning to travel with her friends And then yeah, they shared bonded and they were happy saying, ah, yes, they are trying to go to your bed, you were not there You know, they shared had a good vibe, so it's obvious these people are going to be friends except something comes in between They started the about, get to know me, I'll be about me tag session and stuff While they were doing it, it got to a point where people that's they having the diary session as well so you call some people to the diary session and they, they, everybody will just chill and at the end they finish the diary sessions and they go back to the get to know me tag so let's just share some things that we got to know about what the house is. so praise now got up and told everybody he's getting married soon and then he has been in a three-way relationship before you know he said that on stage and when the people asked her, ah, what did you mean by this he said okay it wasn't like they were dating personally like the three of them were in a relationship with the three of them so no two of them cannot go and meet somewhere else and do anything like three of them had to do you know so it was basically a threesome relationship i would say without any two way about it so everybody was like hmm now wow now wow you know the sharks the guys were healing him obviously as usual now if it's a girl that is saying she's doing that kind of thing nobody will heal her so lucy came and then she did her get to know me tag hers was interesting because she's an orphan as well as nengi if you remember from the last video so she said even her own dad well she's an orphan so her parents are late but even the person she calls her dad was someone who saw her mom i don't know if there was a backstory with it but the person who met her mom pregnant for her elder sister and the guy fell in love with her took her in and then um um she came as well so they obviously her father is dead now her mother is dead now but she lives with an uncle and auntie that really took care of her very well so if she's ever going to save mommy and daddy in this show we should know these 
uh, her uncle and auntie then dorothy as she came up to talk about herself she said first of all everybody just move your eye from my boobs like do not even go to my boobs in any conversation in anything i'm saying here just take your eyes out of my boobs i, I don't know if you guys remember dorothy but here's a picture then katrina came you know katrina was the one we ended the last video with when she said i'm all i'm here for just my business and that that, that not many more well, guys she said a lot i actually tweeted everything she said so i'm going to put a link of katrina's own get to know me tag session in the description box you just click it and it's a thread i print i put like eight tweets but basically it was her just saying how she has always been on her grind since she was 17. this girl had this store a successful chain of stores in port harcourt as at 19 and then at some point her lawyer said she should go into real estate she went into real estate had a lot of like houses and property in port harcourt right now she has a house in lagos but her first ever house was bought to for her by her husband her husband she's still with her husband now but they are separated they are not divorced because she said um i think she said she doesn't want to go through the papers or whatever but she has this daughter with her um husband that is separated from her at first they tried ivf um it did not work and this second time it worked which is this her precious daughter she doesn't joke with she married this guy at i think she said 21 or 22 and he was 64 so just to the fact that he's quite old she has a lot of embryos in I think she said in a hospital in SA just in case anything happens to him but he's someone that was really mature she doesn't really know now imagine this COVID-19 she was with a small boy how they would just be fucking around she doesn't have time for that she likes people that have mature conversations and then she moves on to her business but right now what she really desires in this world right now is fame that's why this people that has just come through for her that this COVID almost messed her up she imported things they were all in Lagos and they closed the border so but so it was her sister who had always been her rock that just told her don't worry something will come through and people that came through now she can't even joke like the fame she's going to get from her she's going to use it to move mountains because that is the only thing she wants in this life from this life that fame and i also have a daughter and Tolani Baj, we talked about her yesterday. Basically, it was the same thing, but the only thing she added was that she had her ticket, her return ticket to America after she, after she came to just taste Nigeria was due in some days when she got the first call for the first job she had. It wasn't a fantastic job, but that was just a sign that she was meant to be in Nigeria. Then also talked a lot about bringing sports to Nigeria, how him and his friend had even formed a company back in Enugu, but at some point the company was just swallowing their money, swallowing their money, and it was like, come, let's be realistic and get other things. So he got a job, a fantastic job at some point. At some point he lost that job, and they was just like trying to find his way before Big Brother. I just like the fact that he actually said he was trying to do something about sport. This is something we would have expected if he had the passion from Mikey from the last season because he was such a sports person, you get so just just improving the sports industry in Nigeria would have been an amazing um thing for him to do. So I really hope Ozo goes far so he's able to do that. So Neil, the guy from Ori Omo, he said he's the seventh out of seven kids. I think he's the seventh or is he the middle child? Anyway, his mom was a warden at the prison. So sometimes he actually slept in the prison. He said he was born in a car. I didn't even understand what that meant. But yeah, I guess he was born in a car. And he, he has gone through a lot. He kind of talks a lot as well. Like a man, he talks a lot. Like his diary session was just talking. Anyway, just explained his struggle, obviously. And he said he really likes honest people. He's an open person. He has been um, messed up in love before. But that doesn't mean he doesn't really like love. He still, you know, supports love. But he has his heart has really been broken. He also said he likes Gigi Hadid. Eric came on and Eric is a sports fanatic as well. He talks about basketball a lot and how just like Ozo, he was trying to implement good structure in the sports industry in Nigeria, especially basketball. He said at some point he had to give up on basketball because it wasn't paying him again. He even tried to join NDA. But Omohi, at some point, all those things didn't work out. He just went to write jam to sort himself out. Okay, then Tochi came with his get to know me tag, talking about his worst uh, heartbreak was when he went to Enugu, the castle of hotel with drinks inside. The girl did not come to the hotel, had his mother so far. You know, his story did not really, really add up. I don't know if he probably went through struggles in life, but Prince during his get to know me said he had to work for one year in a salon doing makeup, hair, and stuff. After secondary school, before I got into university, I went to learn how to make hair, makeup and all of that. A year before he got admission and when they asked him what his guilty pleasure was, he said it was porn. And then Nengi came. Obviously, guys, I told you a lot about Nengi yesterday. Same thing, same thing. She talked about her pageantry, talked about her mom passing away just when she started making it. 
and she talked about her auntie as well they asked her if her auntie allowed her to come to bbn because her auntie did not really like her to come to the, that pageant thing she literally had to run out of the house for that but she was like ah the auntie is fine now with it so yeah it was cool and they asked her what her guilty pleasure was she didn't really understand the meaning of guilty pleasure when they said something bad you still do and then she was like well she had a she was in a long relationship for a while and at some point she wasn't seeing the guy so she had to help herself so some guys are trying to be silly with the help herself but everybody just said please keep quiet i beg let's hear what so that's it for the get to know me tags that i enjoyed so let's get to the diary sessions guys so this is the first ever diary sessions for 2020 see big brother niger lockdown and then these are the few that i thought were cool so Watoni came into the diary house you know she's the assistant head of house and then the only prominent thing she said was that she might have to now tell the housemates about her son guys i didn't even know Watoni had a son so during her get to know me tag she talks about the son but she didn't talk about the father or anything Watoni speaks swahili if you remember from the introduction video she's her mom is kenyan and her dad is Nigeria. She talks about her Instagram business, how she had sold a lot of things on like people had paid for things that hadn't arrived only for the things not to arrive because of COVID. So she really spent her last days before people that Niger house refunding customers. So it's really crazy that right now her Instagram business account is even short because I don't know what happened. So she doesn't know if Instagram business is the thing for her. She's here to figure that out as well. She gave a shout out, said she was looking forward to having a kids talk show sometime in the future. Oh my god, then Neo, Neo talked and talked and talked. That's, in fact, that's when I just knew he was the next talking on Mashola. She talked about how isolation really helped him. Uh, he just been in the, in, the, in the bathroom alone. That's how he even learned how to moonwalk. <coughs> he now wanted to start calling brother Senior Bro or something like that. Big Brother was like, his Big Brother's name is Biggie. That is not like Senior Bro, don't call it Senior Bro. And yeah, so he's, he was just talking a lot, a lot, a lot, Sha. Yeah diary session big brother had to literally end it you know so saying that big brother i wanted to talk about one other thing no big brother did one time just say leave the diary room now she, during katrina's diary session um well she said the usual thing obviously she said a lot which you're going to see in the description box of this video she also when he now asked her who are the people she likes in the house i really admire um uh, praise a genuine human being that she likes when people are proud of what they do you know praise is a dancer or something like that and she really likes his genuine his courage and then neil she said he liked his energy but for number one her number one liked person is praise see lucy came into the diary session and big brother was asking her you know your plans the money she's like i'm not here for the money you are that she's even here it's such a you know that the pressure already is plenty you not know, talk of if she was here for the money that no 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 she just okay the house so guys you don't have to be wasting your votes on lucy to be honest i already told you she's not here for the money except you just like her personality and so because i think she's a very genuine person it's just that i think she lacks a bit of confidence and stuff in herself which i'm hoping after spending two weeks or three weeks in the house, she will come off that. And Erica just said she's learning to accept people, yeah, in the house, that um, things are all right, yeah. She's just learning to accept people, learning to know people, and learning to tolerate people. Eric is cool. Ozo. Uh, seems like husband like material. Not for me, sure. Yeah, then when Ozo was um, doing his diary session, people that asked him, like, who he was fond of, and I thought he was going to say Nengi or Eric, Erica. But he actually said Dorothy, or that he has bonded with Dora. The other day they were washing clothes. She, when he was about to leave, he told her he was about to leave. She was like, it's fine. And they actually have a rapport now. I was quite surprised and happy for her because I know Dorothy, the way she looks at him when he's talking, you know, he likes her. But he's always looking at her boobs. She's like, if someone will be talking to you, be looking at the girl's breast. But yeah, he said she's the one he has bonded with. I don't think there's any other person I'll put like ahead of her, like in terms of bond. Like, for he also talked about his sisters being med family, being medical people. I think his dad, mom, doctors, his two sisters, doctors, and something. So they expected a lot of like education from him about it for what i gathered so far i hope you enjoyed this video so thank you so much for watching please click the thumb up button drop a comment because i love to read from you and see you on the next episode bye bye sometimes i'm misunderstood because i come off as a sassy person you know some people think i'm proud i don't think i'm proud but um you know people are allowed to say what they want to say you just know you know that i'm cool and i have vibes like i have ginger